man has more than instinct, he has a superior intellect and a brilliant creative imagination. Unfortunately, this imagination can create unreal dangers and give rise to unnecessary stresses and strains. Take the case of a well-prepared student under pressure of exams. Guess I got it licked. Yeah. What if the answers are wrong? Oh boy, then I'm not gonna graduate. That means no college, then I won't get the job I want. I'll be a bust, a failure. I might not even have a car. This imagined threat instantly alerts the fear instinct, just as if the danger was real. In this case, the danger was not only imaginary, but short-lived, and tension was relaxed. But now let us see what can happen if fear aroused by imaginary dangers continues over a prolonged period. Good morning, J.G. Huh? His boss was merely preoccupied at the moment. Uh-oh. Something's up. He's mad at me. Maybe I'm gonna get fired. Here we go again. And our man is ready for fight or flight. I don't have to take that. I'll hit him right in the nose. Wait a minute. I can't do that. He's my boss. I really would get fired. I've got it. <laughs> I'll quit. What am I saying? I've got obligations. The mortgage. A family to take care of. And, and, and... Obviously, neither fight nor flight makes sense here. So pride is swallowed, along with all the unused biochemicals the body has stirred up. And so our man literally stews in his own juices. After all, most problems, real or imaginary, are soon resolved. And many situations we first believe to be threatening turn out to be purely imaginary anyway. Good morning, J.G. Huh? Eh? Yeah. Oh, uh, good morning, Harvey, my boy.